Hey everyone, it's Kato, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about a new path trend using some custom patterns. If you're interested in content like this and you want to see more in the future, I'd appreciate if you'd like and subscribe, but let's just get right into it. So with this pathing trend, first I'm going to show it to you and then I'm going to show you guys how you can recreate it on your own island, but it does use the nine piece version of the path, but you have to use a grass version of the path for this to work because it kind of has to blend in to the grass that's on your island. This is the one I use. As always, I will have that code down in the description if you're interested in using this exact same path, but you can use any version of a green path that you want to. I recommend one that is close to the color of the grass in whatever season that you're in. But here is my entrance right now. So excuse the mess. This is a work in progress. All I've done so far is just a little bit just kind of messing around on stream, playing with my new uh, fairy core, spring core theme that I'm trying. So this is definitely not a finished product. This is just kind of what I have so far. But I did start this technique of pathing here. So I'm going to refer to this as kind of inverted pathing. I don't know if that's what everyone else is calling it, but that is the way that I think about it in my head. So the normal way that you use the path is, I will come up here. Normally you just kind of have your path here and you use whatever design it is that you picked out and you place it down and that design is what you kind of lay down for people to walk on and that's what becomes your path. That's the normal way that I've been doing it, that we've all been doing it. That's kind of how this path has been used, especially the dirt versions of the path. I saw on Instagram, Allie, also known as Autumn Weeds. I will have all of her information down in the description. I don't know if she was the first one to do this or if she just recreated it. She was just the first one I saw doing it. And now I've seen several other people doing it. So this is just a small little blob of path, but um, you guys can kind of imagine this is where your path would be guiding you onto this bridge. You normally walk on this green version. So anyway, Allie on Instagram, I saw her doing this where you place down the in-game dirt path. Then you use the custom path to carve out. So it makes it look like the dirt is the path that you're walking on. And then you've got this custom path just as an extension of the grass. And I think it looks so nice. Now I will warn you, this is a little more complicated to do than just laying down the normal version of this path. So just recognize that this is probably going to take a lot more time. Definitely take some practice. I'm new to it, so I can't guarantee that I'm going to do this perfectly, but I am gonna run over here and kind of show you guys the steps on how to do this if this is something that you're interested in doing. So first things first, I'm just gonna come over here to this empty area on my island right here. I'm gonna switch over to my island designer and I'm going to place down a section of dirt. Okay, so I've got my patch of dirt here. Things to keep in mind when you're trying to do this are 
Once you place down the custom pattern, obviously you can't have a tree or a flower. You can't plant anything over a custom pattern. So I like to first off think about where I want my path to go. So I'm thinking with this little patch, I'm going to try to have an entryway from the bottom leading to the top here and then also an exit over here to the left. So that is kind of where I want this dirt path to lead me. And so then you need to think about where you might want to place your trees. So if I was doing that, I would probably want to have a tree right here. Uh, maybe one up from that. So we'll have the dirt path leading up this way and to the left and then leading up this way to the right. So then I'll have another tree down here. So I'm going to actually go ahead and plant these trees. All right, I've got those planted. So now we're going to start to lay the path. So now this is where you want to think about the dirt is what you want your character to be walking on, not the actual custom pattern. So I'm going to start to the left over here and just place down a little bit of this path. And you guys will notice that I use my phone to lay down custom patterns. That's totally a personal preference. I find it easier to use the phone app to do this. Um, but obviously if you guys find it easier to use the Island Designer app, um, again, personal preference, definitely do whatever is easiest for you. Um, but I'm going to just show you guys me laying down this path and hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about. So another thing to think about is when you're next to a tree, you want to use the edge pieces so that the path goes around the tree. So a lot of times I will just come on the each side of the tree, place down these edge pieces so I kind of have a guide and then I can start placing down other pieces from there. So I'm gonna let you guys watch me place down some more of this pathing and I will come back and talk some more about it. All right, here we are. I have laid down a bunch of the pathing here. And as you can see, the dirt here is the path that you are supposed to walk on. Obviously, this is a small sample size, but I hope you guys can kind of get what the vision is here. And obviously, as you place items down to kind of cover up some of this, it just adds to the visual interest of these types of areas. I feel like this is such a cool technique for laying the path. I feel like it's unique. I feel like it's something new to try. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you like the way that this looks? Is it something you're gonna try out on your island? Honestly, I feel like I'm gonna start seeing more and more people doing this because I do think it looks really nice. And I feel like it really fits into the spring core theme, which is becoming more and more popular. So I definitely feel like we're gonna be seeing it more and more I hope this tutorial helped you guys if you're interested in trying out this technique of using the path. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!